once and for all. Let's play Knight F6. Because play the same thing. Yeah, he was Zugzvang there. Let's play. Uh, let's play QGD. What does Zugd mean? It means he was Zugzvanged. Gangsters Paradise. Gangsters Paradise. He goes G3. G6 is always a move, but I think Queen C7 and Rook F8 is the correct treatment of the position. So I think takes and Rook F8. Rook A3 is an idea. I think Bishop F6 is fine. Wait, is this a free pawn here? Maybe, although I'm not sure. So I'm just going to go queen d8. I'm trying to take this pawn on c5 twice and win the pawn here on c3. Oh, did I just blunder this? <sighs> Maybe I've got rook c8. I've got rook c8 actually, and I'm still okay. If queen b5, I think I've... Queen a8 or queen c8. I also have knight b8 maybe as well. A lot of different options. Okay, knight b5. I think uh, rook a5, he's got some knight b6, knight b7. So I think rook a8 is the correct move. Because now knight b6 I take and knight b7 is no longer a fork. And with, with all the pawns coming off the board on the queen side, now I'm just clearly, well, not clearly better, but I'm probably slightly better. Or maybe it's just a draw. There's also that. Okay, let's take. Let's play bishop g5. Try to provoke him to play f4 and then bishop e7. Try to open up this king a little bit here. A little bit, little bit less protection after f4. So rook a b8, of course. Rook b2. Guess I'll just go back. I mean, this is obviously just equal, but pawns are on dark squares, and my bishop is a dark square bishop, so I do want to play on here. Let's play, I don't know, queen c7 maybe? Okay, now I could take, but I, I think rook c6, try to put pressure on this uh, king side here if I can, makes a lot of sense. Okay, so if rook c3, rook b7, rook c2, queen b5, I don't believe him. I also have bishop a3. Wait, which move is correct? This seems like the correct move. So if queen a3 I take, if rook c7 I take, queen c3 I take. So he's got to take, I think. I think he has to take on a3. But after he takes on a3, I'm going to go rook d3, and I I'm, I'm, should be winning the pawn on d4. And this is probably still a draw, but he loses the pawn. This pawn on e5 is loose. So there is danger here. There's g4. I guess I just take. I've got h5 here. h5 or h6. I think h5 is right. Okay, let's go king g7. And the good news is... Oh, but now he's got, got king f4. Okay, I'm just going to keep chilling. Let's put the rook on b4. I think. Now this d-pawn is going to get fast, I think. So I'm going to play f6 here. Oh, 
I meant to I meant to check. Oh, I meant to check. Oh, I meant to check on A3. What was that? Oh, shoot. Oh, let's... Wait, takes... Wait, what? Trouser pawns here. H3? Yeah, there we go. Oh, all right. Chess is hard. Let's play knight f3. Yeah, those of you who know trouser, trouser pawns means the pawns are split wide, so it's like trousers. They're split. I, 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 I think I, I don't know. Dan, if if Daniel's in the uh, in the chat, he could explain it because he is Russian, so he knows the uh, he knows the Russian terminology and all that jazz. I like how his headphones match his uh, t-shirt and his chessboard color. I never thought about that, but that's true, actually. Good point. Yeah, this is the traveling Wilburys, indeed. This guy is not from Serbia. Richard is from uh, Hungary. I don't know why he has a Serbian flag, but he's definitely plays for Hungary. Back girls has never heard trouser pawns. I think that's because in English, it's not. I don't think we use the phrase at all. Like, I can't. Like even it, like using a more more like standardized American English word like pants or I can't think of it. But um, which member of the traveling Wilbur is your favorite? I mean, I'm a big fan of uh, Roy Orbison. Um, I mean George Harrison, obviously. I think was Tom Petty was also in that. I think I do like Tom Petty a lot, to be fair. And I blundered C5 naturally. Now can I get creative? I want to get creative. How do I get creative here? Uh, I guess b5 is creative enough. So he takes, I play knight c6, and then bishop d4, and I, I'm happy enough. What's... Wait a second. Knight c6, rook c6. Wow, can he get away with this? Hard to believe. I'm going to go for it. I don't know if it works, but it's hard for me to believe that it doesn't work. Okay. Ah, but if I... Ah, shoot. Okay. This is terrible. Please, knight d5. I can play rook b... I guess I should play rook b1. Um, I guess queen f1, I still have like c1 or something. I mean, I completely misplayed this. I'm gonna try to flag him or something. I am way up on the clock, that's the one good thing. Now he just blundered rook a1. Okay, maybe rook c4. So obviously I'm probably losing here, but maybe there, or actually, no, I am just losing because it's not, not only is it two pieces and a rook, it's also a pawn. I thought it was even pawns. It's not even material here. I mean, this is just losing. Or is it? I feel like there should be a mate here for black. Is there a mate? There's got to be a mate for black somehow. Feels like there should be a mate. Okay. 
check. Okay, a four. If I go king f3, I don't. If I go king f3, I probably don't lose the game. <sighs> so bad. Yeah, I mean, it just loses anyway. So stupid. So stupid that game. What do I have to win? Three in a row to three in a row to get it to two to one. So. Probably play three more. If I can't win three in a row, then I'm just gonna stop. So ridiculous. Castle, okay, 98. I'm gonna do something unusual here. Maybe King F3 loses anyway. It goes g4, which is completely insane. Uh, I'll play f6. I guess he's gonna play g5, f5, or something. At some point, I don't. I don't really know. Knight before here. Okay, I'll play g6. I don't know if it's a good move or not. I'm gonna have to play f5 at some point. So I guess I just take... Oh, I g5 also, maybe, but... Okay, I don't know what this is. Because g6, I just play rook g8. What am I missing? I'm missing something, because if he takes, I go rook g4. Okay, but this doesn't really do anything much, just... This queen e7, I think. This queen h2, I can definitely play rook g8 here to force rooks off the board. I mean, I maybe bishop e8 was better, but at this point, it's a little bit hard to be precise like that. Okay, bishop h5. He's going to lose his pawn here. I'm going to get knight f7, knight. Knight takes uh, g5. Uh, he's got knight a4, I guess. Can definitely play f4 here, and I am going to play this just so I can take this pawn. I guess he's got takes. Uh, uh, sorry, I missed. Okay, takes. What am I doing? This is so hard. Let's play bishop g4. If knight d5, I have bishop f3 winning material. Now this should be winning. I've got knight e2. Takes h4, king e3, h3. <laughs> Before king e4. This must be winning three pawns. 
think Bishop. This must be winning. With an extra pawn, this has to be winning. Resigns next game. Two more to go. Two more to go. Bloody, oh blada. Oh, yes. oh, yes. He takes, I think I take with the queen here. He's going to castle. I'm going to castle. Or he can play e5 right away. Also reasonable. Um, d5 is interesting. Don't know if it's good, but I'm gonna play it just because at this point I don't want to think. So he castles, which is bizarre. I'll take. Maybe he's got rook c8 or something. He does it. I thought I had knight d5. This is weird. Mm. Knight d5 takes. Because now if he takes, he loses a knight. I'm one move away from just being winning with castles. Okay, so, wow. <sighs> okay, so queen d7, rook fd8, <laughs> and I've got nothing, which is just bizarre. And if I castle knight f6, <sighs> maybe I can play queen b5? It's not what I want to do, but I don't see anything better, so I'm just going to force pieces off. Sli slightly better for me, I think. Although, knight c5 is a good move that I completely missed. I guess just king e2. Okay, bishop b4, logical move. So I should just take and play like bishop d3. I definitely want to play g4, prevent him from ever advancing these kingside pawns. Okay, now I'm not so sure about this. This is still obviously a draw with correct play, but I'm going to get some, some nastiness with bishop b4, king f3, and rook d7 coming. Also, rook d5. His pawns are not great here. Okay, maybe... Um, how do I do this? King d3 makes sense. Trying to trick him here, he still can't, he can't move the bishop now. Now I get the king to e4 at least. Okay, now he plays bishop e1, giving me the opportunity to take the pawn. 
But I still think I should play F3. Oh, I still got bishop c3. Wait, it's a pawn? Oh, wait, I'm moving too slowly. This is actually tricky. Oh, shoot. Oh, jeez, I gotta move. There we go. Yeah. Let's play E6. Play bishop d6, trade some bishops here. Yeah, yeah. I think I'll just go queen c7, queen b6 here. I'm too scared to play the Halloween Gambit. Indeed, I'm much too scared to play the Halloween Gambit. It's I'm deeply, deeply frightened. It's just, I mean, it's, it's just, I'm too frightened to play the opening. Now I can take and play b5. I think I'm going to take and play b5 here. I'm going to go knight f4. Probably I'll play knight e7. Because he wants to go like some h4, h5, so I need to make sure that I can capture and not ruin my pawn structure here. Guess I'll just play h6 just to give him the option to take. If he doesn't, I will remove the bishop back. So I'll pre-move knight g6. Let's just drop the bishop back. Still very balanced position. e4. Now I've got e5, but I don't know if I want that. d5 is a big problem, potentially. I can play knight b6 too to cut it. I can castle. d5. I think I'm just going to castle. d5 I just take. Okay, knight d3, rook fd8. Let's go king f8. Probably I should try to put a knight on b6 at some point. Okay, so he's trying to expand here. So I'm going to go bishop g8, f6, e5, I guess. Maybe I'll go knight. Actually, I should play knight c8 here. I gave him g5. Don't love this. But I can still flop the knight to b6. Probably play knight f4 at some point. g6 is still not really a threat. Um, play knight f4, but just king e7 looks fine. It takes, so obviously I take. Rook g1. Knight f4 is a move. Bishop h7 doesn't really make sense. Knight c4 doesn't really make sense. Knight f6 looks fine. Rook g7, just king f8. I'm also hitting the pawn on, on d4. It's just bishop h7. Oh, this, oh, I had a feeling I blundered something again, and sure enough, I did, didn't I? Takes, check. Or did I? Wait. 
96. Yeah, I feel like I blundered something here. Um, knight g6. g7. Okay. I can play king f8, I guess. No, I can't play king f8. I guess I should just throw in this check. Oh, he's got e5. Oh, man. Oh, but it's made. It's just checkmate. It's just checkmate on, on G8, so I'm completely insane. Oh, so stupid. So stupid. Um, try something like C5. So stupid. Just forgot that it was checkmate there. Oh, so careless. The e4, knight c3. Uh, thank you for Ja928 for the $25 subs. Thanks for the quality content. Thank you so much to Ja928. Uh, let's play h4. Let's do something weird. That was so ridiculous. Four more games for double, three more actually, but let's just try to play a good game from start to finish because that is something I've not been doing consistently. I've been playing some very good games at the start, but I've not been very good consistently throughout. So I think I will just castle here. H4 is definitely theory, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good one. Okay, so I play queen e1 here, obviously, sidestep any tricks. Probably gonna go rook h3 or queen g3. He goes b4. It's just knight b1, I guess. Bishop b5 makes some sense here. I can play knight c5 here. I mean, I really want to attack him, but I'm, I'm not doing a good job. Like, queen f2 is a move, knight d4, castles. Not doing a good job at all here. Still play knight c5. Oh my, oh, what, 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 what am I doing? Oh my gosh. Mm. I'm just going blind. Wow. Oh, we can't, we can't stop on a loss. I'm just going blind. Thank you, sl Slatter, for the six months. Okay. I'm just going to pound him this game and then I'm going to stop because now I'm just blundering, missing things that I shouldn't be missing. Just castle, play d5. This looks wrong. I should have played bishop c3 first, though. Yeah, really, really bad chess now. Good trade. Uh, thank you to Joy Callum for the seven months. <laughs> Halloween, yeah, it is Halloween. Play knight d7. Just gonna play c5. Problem is, this is a very dry position, so it's, um, let's go queen e7, rook c8, rook d8. It's just not good. That was just so bad. Uh, thank you to Ocean Man for the sub with Twitch Prime. Let's play c5. Obviously, he takes. I take. I can play knight d5. And knight d5 looks good just to hit the queen. Place queen three, so I can obviously take. <laughs> K 
Okay, I guess I'll pre-move 97 because it's likely he'll trade. It's not guaranteed, but likely, I would say. I'm obviously better. He's going to... Wait, what? Oh, he wants queen d7? 92 king f1, bishop a6, king e1. Okay, knight c3, queen d7. Queen d7, what's my next move, I guess, is the first question. Queen f8 is a move. 92, king f1. Take 6, which way 6, king e1. <sighs> Crazy. I can also just play a5. I think I'll play knight c3. I'm way up on the clock, so I really should just be moving quicker. I'm just thinking too long in general. Go queen f8. Like here, I'm just up 30 seconds on the clock. I'm definitely better. Like there's no reason to be thinking so long. Just really no need. I mean, here I should just play normal moves and just flag flag him instead of doing stupid things. Queen b7. Of course, I can just play queen c5. No rook c1 because of knight e2. He plays a3. G5 is a little bit probably too bold, but who cares? Let's do it. Now, do I trade or not? I think I do not trade because in this position, I want to keep the B file closed. Okay, or, okay, takes. Okay, let's play rook D8. Play rook D4. I D a G4 here. I also had rook b4, I don't know why I didn't do that. Um, but still, this looks very good. Okay, so he plays h3, I guess I'll just take. I can play just rook c4 here, which looks fine. Not 92, that'd be bad. I mean, maybe just h6. Unbelievable. And again, I blunder this, but I'll be able to flag him, I think. Checkmate. Good game. Come again. Come again, my friend. Okay, let's play D4. Okay, so basically, this is... Four, next game I lose... Four more, or next game I lose is how I'm going to stop this. Let's play... Let's play a London. Okay, just knight d2, of course, e6, just like bishop d3. It's all pretty standard. I think 95 here is correct, so he's supposed to play bishop h5, just castles. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, he... I'm so lucky this doesn't just... Oh, it does just lose on the spot! Oh my gosh, okay. It just, I mean... Oh my gosh. It does just lose on the spot. Okay, um... Ugh, stupid. Two games now that I've just thrown away in the opening for no particularly good reason. This guy is so lucky. So lucky. Okay, let's see. I can play... 
and everything is just terrible here. Let's play Rook C1. Stick with the king. I mean, obviously it's completely busted, but I have to try to do something here. Take, he takes, okay, I can play knight c4, I guess. Oh, he's got queen e4. If castle's just bishop h6, um... Obviously, I'm still completely busted, but um, let's play queen b3 and like h3 maybe. I'm going to go like knight e3, knight g4, I guess. Mm. Oh, I just got this too. Got rook c5, rook c2 maybe? Ah, <sighs> ridiculous. Terrible. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Guy is so, so lucky. Ridiculous. That's two games that I've thrown away to him in the opening for no reason. Two games. He should be he should be down by like two to one. Instead, he's had two ridiculously lucky wins that he doesn't deserve. And knight a5 and c5. Ridiculous. Play knight c5, play knight c5 here. Knight c6 is fine. This rook c8 is fine. Knight, knight, knight g2 hangs the rook on c2. Now this, this can't be right. Okay, let's go queen a5. This can't be right. The night before. Why did I play night before? That was just a stupid move. If I'm playing knight b6 here, I think I will play knight b6. b5 I just take, if c5 I just take as well. This a4. thought I had knight d4 here, or even knight e7, or d5. Does d5 make sense? Let's think. d5, a, cd5, knight d5. I just don't, my brain doesn't want to think, so I'm just going to move. Let's just take. Oh, why did I do this? He's got F5 now. <laughs> so stupid.
I gained bishop g5, of course, because, like, I'm not thinking anymore. Uh... Here I've got some rook f7, knight f3 trick. Or I can just blunder this too. Yeah. Ridiculous, just blundering everywhere now. Queen d7 was obviously a better move than queen c6 because now I just reach a bad end game. I can trade. I don't know, is this losing or not? Oh, he's just got f3, g4. What am I doing? Guess I play f4, probably this just loses somehow, but. lose. I just lose because of Tempe. That's stupid. Yeah, I'm just tilting now. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> 